Hey guys, welcome to another video. Now today I want to show you something that's pretty cool. Now if you want to learn a riffle shuffle technique which will allow you to retain the entire deck order, then this is the shuffle for you. Now there are multiple ways that you can riffle shuffle uh, in a manner which is fake. That is to say that you can riffle shuffle to control a stack of cards, let's say the top stock or the bottom stock, and there are other riffle shuffles that control the entire deck order. In this case, I'm, on, I'm going to show you a riffle shuffle that controls the entire deck order. And the good thing about this riffle shuffle is that in my opinion, this is the only one you need. I've tried multiple other riffle shuffles and the learning curve is pretty steep and not only that but they involve different moves and different things that I really don't particularly like and if you're a beginner this is the way to go. And the other thing that I like about it is that it really does resemble what it is known as a standard procedure. Now standard procedure would call for a riffle and after you riffle, you would cut. So, to be able to do a riffle shuffle that controls the entire deck order and follows that very same maneuver would be perfect. And that riffle shuffle is the push through shuffle. Basically what you're doing is you're just pushing through. You're pushing from the left side to the right side or from the right side to the left side. It depends on what you do. And after that, you simply split them apart and put the top back on top. So it resembles exactly the same thing that you would do legitimately, which would be to riffle shuffle and cut. So the way the push through shuffle works is that you're going to split the deck but pro tip here, leave less in the left side and more in the right side or vice versa, depending on how you want to do it. Now, what you're going to do is that you're going to riffle from the right side, a pack of cards, then you're going to mix or interlace the ones in the left and then you're going to drop another portion on top. So basically what we want is to have a bottom portion, a small interlaced medium portion and the top portion which is not interlaced. Once that is done, you're going to use your ring fingers and you're going to push through with your ring fingers using your first two fingers as cover and then your pinkies are going to help your ring fingers. And what you want to do is that you want to end up with this. It's kind of like an X pattern and now the entire left packet has been push through to the right. I'm going to then use my right hand to pick up that left packet and pick up the right packet with my left hand and I'm going to square them. See, this is the entire left packet, which was the one on top of the deck originally. And now once I've slightly picked them all up, I'm simply going to split them. See, I'm just going to do this. And now I'm going to take out the bottom portion and the top portion, I'm going to put it back on top. And that is it. I've retained completely the entire deck order. So this is the only riffle shuffle you need in order to make this work. In my opinion, I love it. The learning curve is fast, is very good, and it looks legit. Keep practicing and I'm going to see you in the next video.